This is the Tuesday, October 4th meeting of the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners. My name is Deb Shore, serving as chair this year. To my left is our vice chair, Christy Yoakum, Commissioner Rick Fest, and to the other side of the dais, fellow commissioners, Rome Amundsen and Sean Flowerday. If you'd please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Clerk, if you'd begin the agenda, please. Copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available for electronic viewing from the county clerk's staff. Printing options are available upon request. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda item one or minutes approve the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held on September 27, 2022. Move approval. Second. Okay, motion is second. Are there any comments or corrections? Call the roll, please. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Sure. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Next is claims. 2A is approval of the claims process through October 4th, 2022. I move approval of the claims through October 4th. Second. Motion and a second to approve the claims. Call the roll. Flower Day? Yes. Best? Yes. <clears throat> Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Yes. Next is approval of a claim to Clyde Malone Community Center in amount of $10,543.91. Move approval. Second. Motion second to approve the claim to the Clyde Malone Center. Call the roll, please. Yoakum. I abstain as my husband serves on the board. Flower Day. Yes. Best. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Sure. Yes. Motion carries four yes, one abstention. Next is number three, consent items. These routine business items are expected to be adopted without dissent. Any individual item may be removed for special discussion and consideration by a commissioner or by any member of the public without prior notice, unless there's an exception. These items will be approved as one with a single vote of the Board of Commissioners. These items approval of amendments to the following county contracts. C-19-776 will be address lawn care. Inc. to provide annual services for noxious weed spraying and mowing. C-19-777 with Gary's Lawn and Landscape to provide annual services for noxious weed spraying and mowing. C-18-272 with Fire Spring for business card and letterhead printing. C-18-271 with Cornhusk for State Industries for business card and letterhead printing. C-19-844 with Kerasoft Technology, Corporation for Cloud Services for Linked Learning. C-18-534 with Diamond Vogel Inc. doing business as Diamond Vogel for a price increase for paint and related products. Right away contracts with the following, Catherine E. Martin Revocable Living Trust, North 27th Street and Rock Creek Road in the amount of $919. Kathy A. Bristol, Northwest 40th Street and West Mill Road in the amount of $955. Leanne A. A. Lippa and Joshua Ellen Lippa, Melton, North 176th Street and Branch Oak Road in the amount of $127. Fourth Amendment to kind of Contract C-19-243 with Great Plains Appraisal, Inc. for Referee Coordinator Services. Amendment to Grant Contract C-21-444 with Cause Collective for the Case Management Training Program. Grant contract with Cause Collective for the Case Management Training Program in the amount of $15,480. Grant contract with the City of Lincoln for the Coordinated Response to Reducing Domestic Violence Program in the amount of $45,816. Grant contract with the City of Lincoln for the Operation Tipping Point Program in the amount of $90,194. Grant contract with Cedars Youth Services, Inc. for the Crisis Continuum Services Program in the amount of $97,864. Setting a public hearing on Tuesday, October 18, 2022 at 9 a.m. 
in Room 112 of the County City Building regarding Comprehensive Plan Amendment Number 22005 to amend the 2015 Lincoln Lancaster County Comprehensive Plan to add the Comprehensive Watershed Master Plan. I move approval. Second. Right. Motion is second to approve the consent items. Call the roll, please. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flowerday? Yes. Vest? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Next is number four, new business. 4A is a grant award in the amount of $864,210 from the Office of Justice Programs under the funding opportunity entitled 2022 OJJDP Fiscal Year 2022 Family Treatment Court Program. Okay, good morning. Sarah Hoyle, Director of Lincoln Lancaster County Human Services. Uh, Judge Heidemann, this is for Judge Heidemann's court. He had court at 9.30, so was unable to be here. Uh, but um, this is to fund his court for three years, everything in the budget except for the indirect and some travel funding uh, for required training with DOJ uh, is in the amount of contracts going out to other providers. Probably the most significant uh, contract in here is for our peer support in the Family Drug Court, and that is um, with Malone Center. They'll be partnering with us for that, and then they're also bringing in El Centro and then the Agent Community Control Center for this. Uh, match is required. Match is coming from the Department of Health and Human Services for this funding opportunity. So with that being said, the main goals of Family Treatment Drug Court are to provide substance substance using parents with support, treatment, and access to services to protect their children, and then to expedite permanency for children in the program. So we are excited with this grant. And there we were one of eight that received one this grant. Eight. So we're excited. Outstanding. That is so. really cool. Okay. Approval. Second. Okay. Motion is second to approve the grant award. Mm -hmm. Call the roll, please. Best. Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Sure. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. B is a grant award in amount of $750,000 from the Office of Justice Programs under the funding opportunity entitled 2022 BJA Fiscal Year 22 Adult Drug Discretionary Grant Program. I move approval. Second. All right. Motion is second uh, to approve a second grant award this time for the Adult Drug Court. Call the roll. Flower Day? Yes. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. C is resolution a matter of adopting the update on Lancaster County Local Emergency Operations Plan. Move approval. Second. Motion to approve. Call the roll. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. D is a resolution a matter of witness fees paid by Lancaster County, which have remained unclaimed for six months or more. I move approval. Second. Motion is second to approve the resolution. Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Vest? Yes. Thor? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Four E is a resolution a matter of adopting benefits for county elected officials. I move approval. Second. Call the roll. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. G is a resolution a matter of adopting a salary schedule for the psychologist classification. I move approval. Second. Call the roll, please. Flower Day? Yes. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Sure. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. H is a resolution a matter of adopting benefits for county employees in the unclassified service. Move approval. Second. Motion second. And just for clarification, we're calling the, the roll on item H. 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 Did we skip F? Did we, yeah, did we skip, skip F? I think we. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Right, let's let's do H and then we'll second. go back to F. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right. Calling the roll on item H. I didn't catch a second. Um, I think I did. Okay. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? 
Yes. Flaherty? Yes. Best? Yes. Sure. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. F is a resolution matter of adopting benefits for deputy sheriff captains and in classified service. Move approval. Second. Motion second to approve. Uh, call the roll. Yoakum? Yes. Flaherty? Yes. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Four I is a resolution directing the county engineer to conduct a study regarding vacating portions of public road right away, more particularly described in Exhibit A and located in Lancaster County, Nebraska. Good morning, John Barry, Lancaster County Engineering. Um, this is a resolution authorizing county engineering to do a study for vacating an alley in the village of Cheney. This is in the three mile jurisdiction of the city of Lincoln, so it did take both, or it does take both city council approval and this board's approval to do this. I believe the city council has approved it already. So it'll next is you guys. Move approval. Second. Motion is second to uh, conduct a study regarding the vacation. Call the roll. Best. Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flowerday? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. J is a resolution no matter of authorizing the county board chair, vice chair to sign a supplemental task order agreement with Ellsberg, Holt, and Ulevig for NEPA services. All right. Engineer Dingman. Good morning. Pam Damon, Lancaster County Engineer. The exhibit that I have placed on the overhead, and is the overhead gonna work today? Maybe, I'll just say, send it happy vibes. There it goes, winning. Uh, <laughs> this is what it looks like. So this is 148th in Holdridge, and this is the agreement to do the environmental services associated with the um, highway safety improvement project that is to go on at this intersection. Uh, as the board may recall, in 2018, we did a study of 148th Street from Highway 2 to Waverly and it needed approximately $40 million, $2018 dollars of funding. Um, we're really not gonna be able to take that down all at once uh, as a community. So this is kind of uh, the one step at a time process. And so the first step is to look at these intersections and start improving them. Uh, this will be an 80-20 project, 80% 80 Federal Highway Administration and 20% local funds. I move approval. Second. Call the roll, please. Flowerday? Yes. Vest? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Thor? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. K's amendment to the on call professional services task order agreement, county contract C 21 791 with Felsberg, Holt, and Ulevig for NEPA services. Total contract fees increased by $75,727.03. Move approval. Okay, um, I'll second. Okay, motion to second to approve item K. Um, call the roll, please. Yoakum? Yes. Flowerday? Okay. Yes. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion yeah, carries five to zero. We're good. Four L's a resolution authorizing the county board chair, vice chair to sign a construction engineering services agreement number BK2247 with the Nebraska Department of Transportation for Lancaster County employees to provide construction engineering services to project SRR-55 bracket 185 wagon train recreational road. I move approval. Oh, we have. <laughs> uh, this is the current project that is ongoing uh, on our rec roads, kind of in the area uh, east of Hickman. Uh, we do have uh, certified individuals who can inspect the roads on behalf of uh, Nebraska Department of Transportation. When we do that, that counts as some of our reimbursement um, when we're doing 80-20 or 90-10. This one is, uh, is a 60-40 split, 60% state, 40% uh, county. And this is just a way for us to continue to recover uh, dollars that we're entitled to. I will finish my previous statement and move approval of this. <laughs> Second. All right. Appreciate the explanation. Uh, call the roll, please. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flowerday? Yes. Vest? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. M is an agreement 
uh, BK2247 with the Nebraska Department of Transportation for Lancaster County employees to provide construction engineering services for project number SRR-55185 Wagon Train Recreation Road. The county will, re will be reimbursed up to $63,385.40. Move approval. Second. Call the roll, please. Best. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Yoakum. Yes. Flower Day. Yes. Shore. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. For Anna's amusement license renew renewal application from Jan Hauser for an event at Pine Creek Farms on October 15, 2022. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Jan. Nice to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have questions for me. Well, just tell us a little bit about your event. I, mm -hmm. uh, our event, this is our fifth year. We've cut it down to uh, once a year now because in the spring it rains no matter what we do and that's unfair to vendors to take their money when it's going to rain <clears throat> and it's a little hard uh, to get everything in gear so it's a little bit larger group. Uh, I don't know about attendance but vendors have just keep trickling in. Uh, we know no parking on North 14th Street that works really well. Uh, we have people that park cars. Uh, we've also had uh, the health department called to ask who our vendors are and, and et cetera that way uh, for food. Um, I can't think of anything else. We have two stations for sanitary for washing hands, just like when COVID was. I had an overkill, I think, on that, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So we have one by the food and one back by the restrooms, and Al John's is the one that's always provided for us. We've really never had any difficulties at all. We have the signage that you ask for and et cetera that way. Looks it's like been a good good event and and uh, well run. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my family does a good job with that. And if they're not family, then they are paid. They're not volunteers. Uh, you get volunteers. You know, you can't always tell them what you need done. And so we're opening it up to make it more of a family event because we have a face painter this time, mm -hmm. and we're going to give free pumpkins away to the kids and things like that. So people of low income is kind of my passion. If people don't know me. Uh, that uh, they can come and just look and they get free things for their kids. Mm -hmm. That's important to me. So, right. Move approval. Second. Right. Well, it's important to us too. So, mm -hmm. uh, call the roll. Flower Day? Yes. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Thor? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Enjoy. Right. Thank you. And we'll you guys fingers crossed for out. good weather. Well, sure, you can come out, especially <laughs> some people to the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or always a memorandum of understanding with the Nebraska Administrative <laughs> Office of the Courts and Probation for the transfer of audiovisual components and equipment to be used in Lancaster County courtrooms. Move approval. Second. All right, motion second. Call the roll. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Vest? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. He's in agreement with Great Plains Appraisal Company to provide services of a referee coordinator to coordinate referees who will hear all property tax protests before the Lancaster County Board of Equalization from January 1st, 2023 through December 31st, 2025. Total compensation shall not exceed $210,000 per year. Cody Yurtis with Great Plains Appraisal. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this. What uh, Dave and I worked on was just a three-year contract and then two three-year options that automatically renew and then also give us some language in there to just be a little bit more versatile over the next nine years so not knowing what our firm is going to look like or who we'll have or what it's going to look like so like everything we've tried to do over the last couple of years streamline it make it quicker easier for for the board as well so um, really this will be this and then really three years three years three years unless anybody has an objection to that so well, one of the things that I've really appreciated about your work is the fact that you have been very innovative in bringing things forward. And so um, we really appreciate your services. I would move approval. Second. It's a win for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we hope so. Yep. Call the roll, please. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Vest? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Thank you, Thank Cody. You. He was a contract with True Green LP doing business as True Green Lawn Care to provide weed control and fertilization services for county corrections. The cost of county is not to exceed 
$5,975. Move approval. Second. Motion is second to approve uh, contract to agree and call the roll. Best. Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Or is a recommendation from the purchasing agent and public building commission director to award a contract to King Ray Construction Company for the Veteran Service VA Hospital Innovation Building 45 project. The cost of the county is $380,880. Good morning, Commissioners. Morning. Karen Peterson, uh, Facilities and Properties Director. Um, we are asking for a war. This is the project that we've worked on and made a revision um, after uh, Mark came on board. And um, we, the bidding process, you know, the, um, the cost came a little bit higher than the opinion of cost we got at the first part of June. Um, we have four strong bids here. We had a, a raucous crowd, actually, at the... <laughs> It was like herding cats. Purchasing did a, did a great job in helping with that. <laughs> but we had a lot of bidders. We had a lot of people look at this. So higher numbers than we wanted, but I, I think they're very realistic. And we would ask um, for your permission for awards so we can move the contract and get, and get moving. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, this has been a project that's been very near and dear to, <laughs> to our hearts. And uh, I know that uh, you've worked hard on this. And um, we appreciate the modifications that you made and so I would move approval second all right any other questions for Mark or for Karen Mark. what's the timeline that's a great question you always <laughs> ask that I always ask that Good for you. That's, that's an I always ask one. that or do you have if it's the engineering department do you have a picture because yes. I always want to know what yes. what, what what the equipment looks like well, anticipating a notice to proceed today, um, our substantial completion at the end of April, our final completion at the end of May. It's a pretty short window. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happened with supply chains. What, what yeah, we have been doing, uh, the Public Building has, Commission has been doing, is changing it up a little bit and allowing contractors to start pre-ordering product that they're going to use at the end of a contract. Normally, we didn't do that. We didn't want to prepay for things, but if they can get the product and I can find a place to put it, and I can. Um, we're doing, well, that, that's kind of the the, uh, the mindset we have and, and kind of the procedure we've got going. So we would approve that too. Okay, very good. All right, a motion and a second. Call the roll, please. Flower Day? Yes. Vest? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Shore? Um, I will abstain. My sister is a member of the uh, management team at King Green, so i um, uh, mo motion carries four yes, one abstention. Next is number five, public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business, not on agenda, may do so at this time. Is there anyone wishing to make public comment? Seeing no one, if you would continue with the announcements, please. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold a staff meeting on Thursday, October 6, 2022 at 8.30 a.m. In, in room 112 of the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold its next early meeting on Tuesday, October 11th, 2022, beginning at 9 a.m. In, in room 112 of the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will conduct a strategic planning session with Barry Dunn on Tuesday, October 11th, 2022, at 11 a.m. in conference room A-225. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold a public hearing on Thursday, October 13th, 2022, at 6.30 p.m. In, in room 112 of the County City Building regarding the one and six year road and bridge improvement program. County Commissioners have reached up 402-441-7447 or commission at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting is broadcast live on Link TV. Link TV is available on Allo Channel 2 and Spectrum Channel 1300. For the rebroadcast schedule, visit lincoln.ne.gov. Meetings are also streamed live on YouTube and Facebook, Link TV appears, apps appear, or are also available on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. Move, we adjourn. Second. Okay. Motion second to adjourn. Call the roll, please. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Best? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Right. Uh, we are adjourned and will now uh, call to order the Tuesday, October 4th meeting of the Lancaster County Board of Equalization. Mr. Clark. The of the Rights of Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting 
is available for electronic viewing from the county clerk staff. Printing options are available upon request. The material can also, also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda item one or minutes. Approval of the minutes of the Board of Equalization meeting held on Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. Move approval. Second. Second to approve. Call the roll. Best. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Yoakum. Yes. Flower Day. Yes. Shore. Yes. Motion carries 5 <clears throat> 0. Two are additions and deductions to the tax assessment rules. Move approval of the additions and deductions. Second. Call the roll, please. Flower Day? Yes. Vest? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Thor? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. Next is a public hearing. This is for motor vehicle tax exemption applications and includes Carpe Christian School, Cedars Youth Services, Faith Bible Church, Immaculate Heart of Mary Church, Girl Scouts of Nebraska, House of Prayer Christian Church, Emanuel Retirement Communities, Community Action Partnership, and Tabitha Inc. We'll open the public hearing on these motor vehicle tax exemption applications. Anyone wishing to provide public comment? Seeing none, we will close the public hearing and move on to item four. This is uh, motor vehicle tax exemption applications. I move approval of the motor vehicle tax exemption applications. Second. Call the roll, please. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Vest? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Shore? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Next is number five public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county board of equalization business, not on the, the agenda may do so at this time. All right, anyone wishing to make public comment? Seeing none. Move we adjourn. Second. Good. Motion is second to adjourn. Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Yoakum? Yes. Flower Day? Yes. Best? Yes. Thor? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. We are adjourned, thank you.